corn harvesting season is looking a bit different for this farmer in Agassiz. Ian Sparks says his crops are two to three weeks delayed, and that's led to worry. It's stressful. It's really stressful. Usually by this time, corn is being harvested and sold. He says a cooler spring for farmers has meant the soil has not been warm enough for the corn to flourish faster. Every time we got a window, we'd barely get anything in the ground be raining again. And then it was cold. The temperatures didn't, didn't come up. For him, the cooler and wet weather may mean a hit of 30 to 50 percent of corn sales because the crop will arrive later, resulting in a shorter selling season. But while delayed, what's on its way is in good shape. In about two weeks' time, that'll get big and it'll fill out and the silk will turn brown. It's just prolonged it, basically. It's coming and it's thick. This corn farm in Abbotsford is also facing delays. Just only two weeks later, people are everybody asking for corn and all. Cooler and wet weather has also meant Badial planted 20% less corn this year. But he too remains optimistic as the heat grows and sweetens up the corn. If the weather is stay good, it's like it today, heat 29, it's a corn, love that heat. It's a good thing, getting very good side now. Lots of layer. Experts echo record-breaking wet weather is the core reason behind the delays. It's part of the whole knock-on effect of the very wet, very gloomy uh, winter and then into summer that we've had. She says corn is among other crops like blueberries taking a hit from the weather. I don't think there's a single crop now that's had an uninterrupted growing season. But the hope for many is the heat swelters on to grow and ripen these crops. Overall, the Ministry of Agriculture says while corn is delayed, generally crops look excellent, having grown slow and heavy this spring. And despite Mother Nature's tests, Sparks and Badial say there will be plenty of corn to go around. Worth the wait. Beneath Breach, CBC News, Abbotsford.